All right, here's the right handed hitting Gavin Graholic. And the first pitch is right through there by Fisher. Fisher's 2 2. They do it again, and they got him. Good start for Kate Fisher. 1 2, got him in under the hand, so a couple of fastballs. 3 2 pitch, breaking ball, hit out to short. Shelton's got it on a hop. His throw is perfect, and just 16 pitches. And another breaking ball. Hit the straightaway center pretty well. Lavalette at the wall, at the track. He leaps and it's out of here. A straightaway center field shot. And a jack for jack, his sixth of the year. And just like that, it's one nothing. And there is that first run given up. Well, it took the Gators a while to get that first run, right? Lasted all the way to the second hitter and Ryan Prager Gives up his first home run, his first run of the year, 103 exit velocity, 382. Well, it had to be more than 382 because it's 400 to center. But he keeps his hands back and just uses his power. And a breaking ball is smoked out towards right. Montgomery going back. He's not going to get it. It'll short hop the wall, and Shelton's going to have himself a stand-up double. So the lefties in this lineup doing some damage here early on the lefty Ryan Prager. Evans gets a fastball, lines into left. That ball is down. Shelton, round and third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. And Evans was hitting 429 with runners in scoring position, and that goes up just a little bit more. So he's scuffling a little bit. Runner goes, and that one is hit out to center. Drifting back will be Lavalette, and right on the edge of the track, he will make the catch. That one got him. Is it his career? That 3 2 fastball just misses. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Breaking ball. That's lined in the right. Evans will come get it. They'll hold the runner as that ball was hit really hard, but a mistake there by Fisher. An 0 2 pitch. They caught way too much of the plate, and here come the Aggies. We haven't seen that this year. He's saying, You're our guy. And he got him. Mason Chase, a fastball up and out of the strike zone, and Camarillo is grounded into one double play. 0-2 is hit to the right side. Cags with a nice diving stop. They'll go to second for one. That'll be the only play, but that's a heck of a play, is that would have maybe scored two and tied this game up. Five for his last 10. And that breaking ball is going to fall and tie this game up. Right off the end of the bat, Kent stays hot. And give credit to the Aggies. They got the hit batter and the walk to start the inning. Big, strong presence. Breaking ball is a fly ball to center. Jalen Guy drifting over as the ball continues to carry, and it's going to carry out of the yard. Well, we told you that win was helping, and it looked like a routine fly ball off the bat, but a three-run homer for the leadoff man, and it's a five spot here for the Aggies. Yeah, he's a big, strong hitter and at that leadoff spot. And has massive power and we see it right here. Breaking ball keeps his hands back outer third. And he's the last good fastball again and Jace Lavalette strikes out for the second time using guy to face the lefties. And he rewards him with a single. Not a good 0 2 pitch there by Prager and Jalen guy is now hit in for the last five. And he pops up that fastball there. A little tardy on it. Burton in foul territory will battle that win. Now the second baseman, Caden Kent, comes over, makes a nice sliding catch. 2 2 pitch is a swing and a miss. Good job by Fisher to get a really good hitter for out number one. There it is again. And it's back to back strikeouts to start off the third inning. And that one lined out towards Carlin. He's got it, drops it, but. From his knee, he's able to throw him out until Cags hit one off the batter's eye his last time up. First pitch fastball here is out to the batter's eye again. An absolute no doubter is Lavalette. Just watch it go off the very top of the batter's eye. Another jack for Jack, his seventh of the year. And that just shows you how strong Jack Caglione is right there. Wow. Just crushes this. 
Heyman ready for the 2 2 pitch. And that one got a piece of him. Well, the Aggies got their big inning started. 3 2 again. Shelton hits it hard, and that'll find right field. Heyman will put on the brakes, standing at second base, but another good at bat by Colby Shelton. Good breaking ball there, and Evans. And that fastball is hit really well out towards left center field. Lavalette to the wall. Bye bye, baseball. A three run shot for Shelton. And just like that, the Gators back on top. They have already homered three times in less than three innings against a guy that came in here with a zero earned run average. Well, it's been all fun and games until now. You know what? Bring it on. I know you're a strike thrower, and we are being aggressive and ready to jump on it. And he gets a pitch up. And, and that one will miss down low. So four-pitch walk. So he throws it again, but that one misses down and in. Here's a 3-2, and it's a big pitch for Cortez. Got him on a slider. And that fastball is hit really well out towards left center field, and just like that, with his third homer of the year, we're tied up at six once again. Is this going to be one of these affairs where the last team up? is going to have the advantage because they are throwing haymakers at each other tonight. 103 off the bat and that was out of the stadium. Our fifth home run of this ball game. We're only in the top of the fourth. Yeah, Sully really likes his defense. It might be the best defensive guy they have. Really good breaking ball there. So in from the changeup. But Cags made a really nice dive and play. He'll go out to right center again, and that ball is going to fall in the gap. And it's going to turn it into a double. Right there in no man's land. And a good fastball there by Fisher. Bottom part of the zone over the wall in right center. Gets a fastball there. Runner tries to go, and he will be there safely. That pitch. They do, and he got a piece of it. But straight away center field, Jalen Guy is there to retire the side. And a good slider there, so. Got him with a fastball, 98 on the black. And they did. That's a big inning for Cortez. He just struck out Caglione, Heyman, and Shelton. Fastball right back where it came from and that'll find center field so too much of the plate and it's a leadoff single for Jay Slavalette. Here's the one two and that's fastball out to straightaway center guy will drift to his left and it's now in his glove to retire the side. And he just keeps mowing down these guys in white jerseys. And a fastball right down the middle will send him back to the dugout. So six in a row. They got the slider, and that's seven strikeouts in a row for Chris Cortez. Tough out. He's been battling. Three two pitch. Got him on a slider. So Fisher had a lot of confidence in the off speed. And there is that career high tying 10 strikeout. As that one has popped straight up the chute. To the right side of the infield, Cags calls for it, and he's got it in a one, two, three, six. Get up with men on base. Well, Curlin got a hold of that slider, and that's going to untie this game. Second straight game that Curlin has left the yard, and the Gators finally get to Chris Cortez and take the lead. That counts as getting on base. Okay, Curlin puts a charge in one here. Gets the Gators back on top. This is a slider. Hangs and he makes him pay. Keeps his hands back. That's what I like about it. As the Gators shift for the lefty. And that one is right to Caglione. He'll flip it to Neely covering. And a quick one, two, three inning field. And that one is hit pretty well out to left. 
Shot going back, and it's a shot into the bullpen for Shelton. His 10th of the year. And the Gators have hit five home runs tonight and now lead it by two. We talked about his oppo power, and there it is. Another shell shocker. Two-seamer keeps the hands back. Look where the hips are going, right where that ball is head right on it. 3-2 to Evans. That one is hammered into left for a single. He got a fastball up in the zone, and Ty's got his second single of the night. He'll go the other way with that one. Hit it hard, and Evans will be chugging along. Thomas will try to stretch it into a double. He does with two outs. There's two runners in scoring position for Tanner Garrison. The 2-2, two -two. and that one right off the end of the bat. Could be a tough play, and it's a heck of a play by Caden Kent. 0-1 is hit hard, and that will get a pell to the dish. Hung a breaking ball, and Burton has the first base runner for the Aggies off of Neely. Trying to help Neely get his first strikeout, but he'll plunk him. Couple of looks to second. Now the 2-2 pitch, and he got him. Neely with his first strikeout and a huge one to leave the tying runs on base for the Aggies, and it's four straight zeros. Burton, first baseman, will give that a look, but it's on top of the getter dugout. Tack on run so important as a fan makes a great catch. Clips. Uh huh. That's a nice line drive to right field, and that's going to find some grass. Second hit of the day, and a good way to lead off for Jalen Guy here in the eighth. He does run. It's a strike, and Guy's going to be safe. Bang, bang play. But he got, oh, it was ball four. That's a changeup, and Kags caps it. Little bobble and another bobble, but a nice recovery by Ted Burton there. Heyman quickly in an 0-2 hole. Gets a changeup again. That'll be backhanded by the third baseman. Throw home is in plenty of time. And a changeup hit to the left side. Grohovac has it, and that is a great job by the freshman. Weston Moss came in first and second in his lone inning against Florida State on Tuesday. And he's got one here. Camarillo chased a high fastball. They've scored just one since. That one's hit pretty well. Evans is going to try to run it down, and he will for out number two. Crowd to their feet here for the 2-2 pitch, and they got him. So that will end the 17-0 record.